Yo, it's your boy XBam right here, and today we're going to be talking about the best guns to use in Season 3 of Call of Duty right now. Let's get into it. First gun I'm going to be talking about here today is the AK. It's a good gun for long range and medium range encounters. It does a lot of damage. The only reason why I think people don't use it a lot is because of the recoil and the fire rate this is a gun that's hard to control and if you can't control it the fire rate is gonna fuck you over two times because if someone got an smg or the m4 they're gonna shred you if you're missing your shots but i think with this setup and if you can control the recoil a little bit you're gonna shred people with this gun the attachments i'm running on this gun is the tack laser skeleton stock operator foregrip stipple grip tape and slide of hand slide of hand for obvious reasons it's gonna be low slow then all of the attachments that make me aim down sight faster is because you aim down sight very slow with this gun operator for grip is for the recoil obviously this is a great gun i think a lot more people should use it i feel like it's real neglected because back in the other call of duties once you got the ak unlocked and got a go to you seem like you played this game forever you spent your whole life playing the game and now every Call of Duty game I play, I always got to get the AK and I always got to get a gold just because how it was back in the days. If you can control the recoil, you land every shot on target, this is a great gun for those who like high powered, slow fire rate damaging guns. All right. Now we're going to be talking about the Striker 45, aka the UMP. This is a great gun for close range encounters. I like using this gun a lot. You could also do a lot of damage from distance, from medium, and sometimes long range, depending on how accurate you are with this gun. It's a great gun overall, in my opinion. These are the attachments I use. Tack laser, monolithic suppressor, the 45 round mag, the F Tack G rear grip in slide of hand slide of hand for obvious reasons like the last gun this gun reloads a lot slower with the 45 round mag tack laser in the rear grip for aim down sight speed monolithic suppressor for the range and the 45 round mag for more ammunition it's a great gun i really like using it i destroy people using these guns this is one of the guns i use when i kind of want to go try hard without people calling me a try hard All right, now I'm gonna be talking about the AUG or what some people like to call it, the UG. The UG is a very great gun, very versatile. You could change it up for long distance, medium range, short range. There's a lot of different ways you can use this gun, but the way I play is very aggressive, very straightforward. I like to push real hard, so I play with a sh the stock barrel. The attachments I run is tack laser, the force tack stock, commando grip, the 5.56 rounds, and the stipple grip tape for, you know, aim down sight speed. I use the 5.56 because it's a bigger round. The impact is a lot better, kills people a little bit faster. The commando foregrip for obvious reasons, control recoil. It's a great gun. I love using it. This is the type of gun that I use mostly on smaller maps like rust and shipment. Or when I'm playing very, very aggressive and I just keep pushing them constantly, I'll usually change this for the drum mag and start pushing. Like, so I could just sit in a spawn and just light them up with the drum mag. Alright, now we're getting into the three most try hard guns you can ever use in this game. Every professional use it, every comp player use it, every player who thinks they're the best at this game use it. If you ever hear a kid in game chat talking shit saying you suck, you're trash, this is the class setups you would use to kill them, destroy them, and make any little nine year old on this game cry. First gun I'm gonna be talking about is the MP5. It's a good gun for long, medium, and close range encounters. I love using this a lot, especially on smaller maps where. I could just cross map people like on Rust where I could just sit in my spawn and kill them in their spawn. Kind of cheesy, I know, but I, I do it anyway. 
people spawn trap me, I spawn trap them back. So yeah, this is a great gun, as I said, for long, medium range and close range encounters. You can switch it up a lot of different ways, very versatile, a lot of different ways to your play style. But the attachments that I have is TAC laser, FSS barrel, the monolithic suppressor, commando for grip, and a stipple grip tape for obvious reasons. Like I said before in the other classes I run these attachments on, the suppressor adds rain and suppress shots so they don't pop up on the map or the compass. The FSS barrel extends the range even more, plus the suppressor, the commando grip, the control recoil, tack laser, and stipple grip tape for the aim down sight speed. Like I said before, this is a great gun to use in a lot of different ways than the way I use it. This is just what I recommend for people starting out looking for another gun to use. This is the class setup I recommend to you. Very great class. You could destroy any anyone that gets in your way with this gun. Now, we're down to the gun. Has been the best and will always be the best until they nerf the shit out of it. The M4A1, been the best since the game came out, still the best today, and will always be the best forever. Until they really nerf the mess out of it, this gun will always be the best. This is another gun that's very versatile in a lot of different ways, different attachments. There's a lot of different attachments you could put on this gun to match your play style. You could make a campy build with it, a rush build like I have, a build that's a little bit of both. This is a great gun. I will always use it when I'm really going try hard. Let's get into the attachments. The attachments I got is the tack light, compensator, commando forward grip, stipple grip tape, and forged tack stock. Forged tack stock, stipple grip tape, and the tack light for obvious reasons, aim down sight speed. Like I said before, I play very aggressive. That's just the play style I like. I like pushing in, I like spawn camping people. Compensator and the commando foregrip for obvious reasons. Control recoil with this gun, I like to just snap on people without worrying about recoil too much. Very great gun, very versatile. Like I said before, if anyone just got the game, this is the gun you use to destroy anybody. Great gun. Alright, the last gun I'm going to talk about right now is the MP5. This gun is just overall amazing. I don't even think they nerfed this gun once yet. It doesn't really need to be nerfed, but some people think it does. It's really an OP gun and it's still OP to this day. This gun has a lot of range for a SMG. The movement with it is fucking insane. And plus, the way you set it up can fit your playstyle. This is another gun that's very versatile. You could use almost any attachment for this gun and it will always be the gun that destroys any kid that's in your lobby, hands down. Now, the attachments I run for is the monolithic suppressor, commando foregrip, the 10 millimeter rounds, the stipple grip tape, and the collapsed stock. Collapsed stock, the stipple grip tape, for obvious reasons, aim down sight speed. The 10 millimeter rounds is for more distance, that's why I have the monolithic suppressor on it, it adds range. With those rounds, it adds even more range and it does a lot more damage than a regular 9 millimeter rounds. The commando foregrip just to control the recoil a little more. I play on PC, so it's actually a lot easier to control recoil than on console. Alright, there you go, these are all the guns that I think is the best to use right now in season 3. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and yeah, it's been Bamron.